So it's asking you to factor, then find the zeros. Okay? So always the first process is factoring. What's the always, always the first thing that we think about when we're factoring? Greatest common factor. Greatest common factor. Do I have one? Yes. What is it? Negative. 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 Now remember guys that the reason why we take that negative out, because if negative in it, we don't want that negative to stick with the x squared. It's going to be harder to factor. Okay? So it's easier if I factor it out. All right? So I'm going to divide. So my greatest common factor is negative 3, which means I'm going to divide each term by negative 3. And here's where you have to be very careful with your signs. When you're dividing by a negative number, you have to be aware of your signs. Okay? So, what's negative 3x squared divided by negative 3? x squared. What's 24x divided by negative 3? Negative 8x. Okay? A positive divided by a negative is a negative. Negative 48 divided by negative 3? Positive 16. Positive 16. Excellent. Are we okay with the first step, which is the GCF? Are we okay with that? Now, my next step is looking at my leftovers. What's up with my leftovers? Trinomial or binomial? Trinomial. Can I do... Sum and product, right? Now I'm just writing this. You don't have to write this. I'm showing you what I'm thinking. Okay? So I'm looking for two numbers that multiply to Four. multiply to 16. Add. Add. add to negative 8. Okay, just give me a second. Don't give me the answer before we explain it. Okay. Multiply to 16, add to negative 8. So my B is negative, my C is positive. B is negative, C is positive, so both of them are going to be negative. Negative, uh, negative, four. negative 4. So it's going to be negative 4 and negative 4. If I add them, that's going to give me negative 8, right? There is other options. I have the negative 16 and negative 1. I have the negative 8 and negative 2, right? But none of them are going to add to negative 8. Right? This is going to be negative 17. This is going to be negative 10. So none of these are going to... So I don't have to write them. Right? Are we okay with the factors? Okay. So I did find my two factors, which means I can simply just write my brackets. X minus 4. X minus 4. It happens to be that they're the same. Mm -hmm. Good. So... Is it factored now? It is, right? It is factored. It is. Factored, remember, is a x minus r x minus s, right? Where you have a, it could, the number could be anything. R, s, a can be anything. But it should look like this. Do you see it? Yes. Hmm? Oh, it's right here. All right, now, how do I find the zeros? What's in the set the brackets equal to zero. So set the bracket. Guys, please don't cut corners and just write the answer right away because you guys will see in part B that if you cut corners, you're going to get the wrong time. answer. Okay, so don't cut corners, write this step, please, write this step. Okay, now, when I bring this over, what does it become? Four. Now, I can do the same thing for this one, but I'm going to end up with the same answer, right? Mm -hmm. Now, why would I end up with the same answer? Does that mean I only have one zero? Okay, let's see, where are these two zeros? So I have a zero at four. Where's my second zero? Why? Where's my second zero? Both my zeros are four. So I only have one zero. Okay, so I have 
So when the answer is the same. When the answer is the same, that means you have only one zero. So would you like us to write it as four and zero? Then you say x equals four, and that's it. You don't have to write it twice. Now, if you write it twice, that's fine. But then, if I'm going to graph this, right, x equals 4, and then which way does this open? Down. Down. So I'm going to have my vertex and my zeros are going to be the same. Right? We talked about this, I think, once, and we said that there are three options. You can have one zero. You can have two zeros. Right? And sometimes you can have no zeros. Right? This is one of the cases that I have only one zero. Okay? <coughs> What's the first step? So again, we're factoring, then we're finding the zeros. Divide by negative 6. OK, it's my common factor. And why did you decide to divide by a negative? Thank you. Right? Because your first term is a negative, you must divide your GCF or your A term is going to be negative. And then 6, both numbers are divided by 6. They're both factors of uh, multiples of 6. So I can divide by negative 6 both terms. Okay? Negative 24x squared divided by negative 6 gives me positive what? Negative and negative gives me positive. 24 over 6, 4x squared. How about 6 over negative 6? Negative 1. All right, all right. So what do I have inside the bracket? A binomial, binomial, two terms, right? Yeah, binomial. Now, are they perfect squares? Both terms? Yes. 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 And is there a minus between them? Yes. Okay, so I did my both check mark. Okay. So I can do what? What's the process called? Difference of squares. Difference of squares. And when I do the difference of squares, I put a plus and a minus. I take the square root of the first term, which gives me what? 2x. 2x. And I think I don't want to keep that square root here, so I'm going to do this. And I take the square root of the second term. What's square root of 1? 1. And then that gives me 1 and 1. So you see now, I have two brackets, and they're both. There's no more squares. They're factored. Are we OK with that? Now. The question says, find the zeros. So what do I have to do to find the zeros? Set the brackets equal to zero. OK? So I, I do this so you guys remember. Right? That's why I do this. I don't do it just because I, I have to. I do it so you guys remember. When you're, when you're finding your zeros, set each bracket equal to zero. I want to see that. So, 2x plus 1 equals 0. All right, what do we do? Bring the 1 over, yep. Isolate for x, yep. Divide by 2. 
negative a half. I'm going to do exactly the same thing to the other one. 2x minus 1 equals 0. What do I do? Equals 1. Bring the negative 1 over. It becomes a plus 1. So if I'm going to sketch this, okay, I have a negative a half and a positive a half. And which way does my graph open? Down. Down. So it's going to be something that looks like this. Okay. So you see, if I did not say, if you did not do this part, what are you going to think? Oh, my zeros are negative 1 and 1. No, they're not. No, they're not. Right? So that's why I say take each bracket and set it equal to 0. Do your math properly so you can see it. Because when you do your math properly, you're going to see that, oh, this is 2x not x. I'm not interested in 2x. I'm interested in what x is equal to. Do I make sense? Sometimes. Not all the times. I make sense. It's just the math of them. All right. Um, and the last. How about the last one? What do we do? Yeah, this one was easier to read. Was it? Yeah. This one was easier than that one. Okay. came out of the gate swinging. Yeah. Okay. What would be your first step when you're factoring? GCF. GCF. What would be your GCF for this? Okay. So negative 4. I can divide both of them by negative 4. But look at both terms. A lot of people miss this step. Both terms have the letter X. So my GCF is? Which if I divide by negative 4X, what do I have left? So negative 4 over negative 4 is just 1. X squared over X is X. 24X divided by negative 4X. Okay, look at the brackets. Do I have squares left there? No, so that means it's factored. It's fully, fully, fully factored. That's it. You can't do anything else with it. All right? So I just have to find the zeros. All right? So again, in this case, you see only one bracket, so you're going to set this equal to zero, but you don't want to forget that this has an x as well. Right? Technically speaking, guys, eyes on me for a second. You see the x that's here by itself? It is the same thing as writing this. Right? But we don't write x minus 0. It doesn't make any sense. Okay? So you have to remember that you also have to set this equal to 0. And then you have negative 4x. So what's happening here? It's a multiplication, so to get rid of it, I'm going to have to divide. What's 0 divided by negative 4? So your two zeros are this. Okay. So always when you factor an x out, one of your zeros is going to be a 0. And a lot of people miss that, unfortunately. Okay. A lot of people miss that part. So all, all, all the time when you have x by itself, like outside factored out, your, your, um, your 0 is going to be a 0. And basically we have And then it's going to open down again because your a value is negative. OK? I am going to leave this page for tomorrow. Okay, because then it's too much work. We've done a lot today, or 